Launt or Dusk is a 24-hour Ironman Enduro with a gruelling circuit which takes in fast rocky trails mixed with forest tracks. Steve Island has spent months building up his fitness and stamina to withstand the brutal battering this event inflicts on his competitors. I don't want to sound big-headed here, but I'm always mentally strong. That's how, you know, I'm, I'm from a rough, from a rough town, and I've always been mentally strong. And uh, this is all going to be about the head uh, and, and the mind, and, and digging deep and finding the right pace. I mean, people are saying to me, "You're going to go fast, Steve. Are you going to do this? Are you going to do that?" I don't know. I've got no idea. I, I'm just going to go out there and, and try. Yeah. I mean, I haven't said too much to anyone today, and it'll be all right for this because it'll be after the event that you see it, but. I've got my plan tonight, it's a smaller lap, it's six miles. I've got very good lights from Trail Tech, the HID ones. The bike's superb. If I can get a decent run tonight, then it's going to make it very hard tomorrow because it goes to a 16-mile lap in the morning. So get from ahead a, tonight. Get ahead tonight, so they can't, can't catch, catch me tomorrow. I don't, barring my body stopping yeah, yeah, or yeah. cramp or physically running, I don't know, 17 hours, I might crumble and have to be carried by the amp to the ambulance, I don't know. Stay up all night, and I'm going to do uh, do the full 24 hours with him. And obviously, he's uh, he's here to win, and he will win. Starting at 7 p.m., the riders embark on their grueling journey. With a full support team and two bikes, Steve makes his way to the start line. So as the klaxon starts, the riders run to the machines, fire the machines into life, and away they go for the start of this epic 24-hour race. Steve Island not getting such a good start there. One of the last few riders away, so already he's got a bit of ground to make up. So he's already on the opening lap, he's going to have to start picking off the riders. Steve Island up the first climb, sweep round. And already in the middle of the traffic, so he's making up that ground down a very cambered, rocky, straight into the corner there. And you can see the white rocks being thrown up by the other riders' machines. Back down another cambered corner there, very the court ground slipping away, and literally as I speak, Steve collecting another rider there. Both riders tangled there on the ground. It looks like the other rider trapped underneath his machine on Steve's machine. Well, Steve Island having to help the other rider trying to extract him from his machine. So disaster here for Steve Island, literally only 100 yards away from the start. Steve Island back at the back of the pack once again. And you can see his handlebars badly bent. And Steve also picking up a, a bent disc rotor. So disaster for Steve Island right at the start of this gruelling 24-hour race. Bent handlebars and a damaged front disc. So at the end of the first lap, Steve Island has to come in and change machines to continue the event. And then it's back out onto the track. Time needs to be made up. As dusk falls, it's time to swap bikes to the machine prepared for the night's event. New goggles! So it's back out onto the track and lights on. First pit stop of the night, clean goggles, refueling of the bike and himself and a comfort break. I need a wait. After the pit stop, it's back out onto the track 
into the night. Second pit stop of the night for refueling. The fatigue starts to show on the crew as well as a rider, and errors can be made. Oh, no. yeah. It is horrible, but you've got to take it. Cold breeze on your legs. No, I'm not cold. I've just got cramped full in here. The yeah. guy in second's a little bit ahead of you. No, Fourth man's way out of it. I'm happy his, with that. I'm happy. Back light, I'm f it, aren't I? Why isn't that done? What's up with it? Don't use that again. Have you opened the valve? No, I don't have to open the thing. It's not even moving. It's full, maybe. Take it out. It's full. It's full. The <laughs> yeah. Come on, dead. My lights clean. Yeah. Nice guy. Pit stop, and by this time Steve Island has lapped the whole field twice. Time for some painkillers for that back injury, as the circuit is extended for the day's event with some extreme sections added. This lap's going to be hell. Yeah. Painkillers anywhere? Painkillers. I don't know, we'll just see how it goes now. I'll just put the, uh, All I've got to do is finish. I proved a point last night. I've won. Yeah, yeah. 12 hours in the dark, the rain, the cold, I've won. Yeah. Uh, and lap in second place. <laughs> lapped up, lap second place by two laps. From a crash at the I can't That's believe I've done that. Um, especially with a fit young lad like Harry. Yeah. The rain falls making conditions treacherous, adding to the misery of the riders, and the pain from Steve's crushed discs start to take its toll. Steve is returning to the track, but after 17 gruelling hours, the pain is just too much. The first 12 hours it was uh, it was fantastic really and felt really good and I went out then and I did from half seven in the morning till I think it was 12 o'clock or something like that. Yeah. Half 12. Um, I was two laps clear, two laps and 20 minutes. And basically, my back just gave up the ghost because of the conditions today. I mean, obviously, you can see I'm lying in bed here now. That's because I know what to do with my back when it's sore. Um, at, at, there was a point out there because of the relentless rain and the slippiness, na the nature of the rocks and yeah, stuff. Yeah. You do have to do a bit of paddling in some of the areas, um, you know, straddle the bike and, and paddle with either leg, and that was just like electric shock. In the end, after retiring from injury seven hours before the end of the race, Steve still had done enough laps to secure fourth place. Uh, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, job, job done. I mean, it would have been nice to have carried on and done the 24 hours solid, but, you know, packed in at 17 hours, 17 and a half hours, and 
we still have still finished fourth, even though I've been in the camper all afternoon. So, um, yeah, it's just a simple matter of crossing the line.